Welcome back. We are doing all science errors to Pisces. Keep in mind, if it is not your story, acknowledge and move on. Question of the day instead. Emoji of the day. We're going to do that one again. That was kind of fun. So whatever mood you're in, put an emoji up. If you want to say why, feel free. If not, don't. Okay, you have the overall energy of the hair font. can be a Taurus. Then you got the Wheel of Fortune. It's fixed signs. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. This can be changes that you have faith in, having faith in your future, believing things are going to go well, having a natural instinct. But the hair font, faith. We like faith. Let's see what we get. All right, if you are dealing with an Aries, Leo Sag, Source, Elemental Quickies, one more. Okay, <clears throat> this person is thinking about how to make things different between the two of you. They're feeling that there's still a sense of security between the two of you, but they're not doing anything right now, not saying anything. They're doing a lot of thinking. What is the blockage? All right. This person might feel like you have the upper hand here and they are feeling vulnerable, possibly feeling like you're a little irritated with them. <clears throat> and then there's toxicity. So did they hold back from something they shouldn't have done? Because the answer is looking like not so much. One more for the devil because I would make it up right. Why the devil for blockage? This person's got... A major imbalance here now this can be chemical imbalances this can be anything emotionally unsuited it seems like this person can have a roller coaster of emotions can be very argumentative it seems like they're trying to in their mind they're trying to bite their tongue because they still sense security between the two of you how do you see this person how do you see this person one more. Okay, that's possibly treating you like an option. So they could have stepped out with you, causing an imbalance between the two of you, therefore ah, leaving frustration and bad judgments. Bad judgments. They made a choice. It wasn't a good one. So it's like as far as the truce, you don't see it happening. Feelings. You still have feelings for them. You feel like the two of you are right together. You're feeling like the two of you are right together. Still have faith in this connection. If you're seeing them wanting to communicate and wanting to change your mind, you might be willing to, you know, accept an apology. And we say apology very lightly here. But this person could have done anything that was unhealthy for them and the connection. Because we got the devil reversed. And... Or the devil upright, I'm sorry, and then temperance reverse. That's somebody that does things excessively for their own glory, for their own pleasure, and then just got you pissed <coughs> off. This could have been a lot of different things. They could have made an option of you, but it feels like they're biting their tongue. They still feel like there's security between the two of you. They're doing a lot of soul searching, staying home alone. If this person had stepped out, they're not in anything now anymore. But they're like, the communication can get better between the two of us and you should change your mind. You see it, so you're feeling it, but they're not doing anything right now. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Okay. Two more. Okay. Why the Six of Swords for Thoughts? Okay. This person feels like you're avoiding contact with them. They want to try to put the baggage behind the two of you, but they feel like they might be missing an opportunity. This person can have been very hurtful words exchanged between the two of you. Their feelings, one more. They have the belief, they have the feeling that you're juggling and going back and forth. This is somebody that's going back and forth. Do I stick up for this or not? Do I, does this stand a chance? Page of Wands, wanting to have, they want good news and they want forgiveness. This is somebody that wants to come in, talk to you. This is their action, coming in to apologize, coming in to see if there's still faith here, if you still consider them somebody that you care about. Do you still have emotions for me? I'm curious to know, I'm e eager. Blackage. 
blockage. Shit not going so well between the two of you. Lies something not being even. This person could have gotten some karma. But it's lies. Unevenness can be somebody needed a little bit of an emotional distance here. Bitterness, separation, divorce, having consequences because of the action they took and not enjoying where they're sitting. How do you see them? All right. Okay. You see them acting cold as hell. Why the Ace of Wands for how you see them? You feel like they're messing around or whatever they did this beginning here. That it was risky business and that it's what caused the problem between the two of you. And you're holding, you're just like, I know. There's clarity and truth that you have found out about what this person did. And they could have stepped out of the connection. When the two of cups is reversed, that can be any kind of third party interference. But when it's with the ace of wands, that's usually stepping out. And the knight of swords reversed. It's almost like they're accusing you of the same thing they possibly did feelings for them. You'd like there to be improvements in the situation. One more for the three. But you feel like you need to know what the hell to expect from them. It's like they need to be more patient, practical, not so spontaneous, not so up in the air. They can't just be here, there, and all over the place. But if they're feeling defensive about the ups and downs or defensive about if they treated you like an option this is somebody that's kind of trying to deny it so take it how it resonates but i'm saying this person as far as their thoughts i feel like they're trying to make excuses for the past and they're going to miss an opportunity this is somebody that embellished the truth possibly now they want you to just leave whatever happened behind you mm, iffy cancer scorpio pisces all right, we have the full moon reverse. One more. One more. Ace of Cups. Ooh. This person is trying to get the balls up to ask you out. They're interested in you. Let's see what you think about them. Bring it on. It's like I suddenly feel all warm and flush. Okay, I mean, this is very nice. This is very nice. This can move on to a connection. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Can be a reunion. Doesn't have to be. It definitely looks like a reunion, though. This can be a new beginning between you and somebody from the past. Starting over. Starting completely over. And this also can be the feeling of everything's out in the open. One more for the moon reverse. Like, there's no anxiety. Everything is out in the open. But, well, that's a return. So you would be content if this person actually spoke up, took the barriers out of the connection between the two of you. But I will say that this person mentally might be a little bit immature. One more for the fool. A little indecisive on whether... Because if they're thinking the hangman reverse, they're not sure if this is something they're going to let go of. So this is kind of like a last-ditch effort, but I don't feel like they're lying to you with the moon being reversed. I think they're telling you, yeah, we can give this another shot, but it's got to go well. It seems like you would be clicking your heels. There's no place like home because you miss this person. So that looks like a reconciliation. But they're basically telling you, well, I don't know if this is going to, or maybe they won't be telling you. We can try, but I'm not making any guarantees. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, source. Taurus, Virgo, Caps. All right, you got the world reversed. Okay. Okay, this person doesn't feel like things are, they don't feel like things are going their way. They don't feel like the two of you had enough of an opportunity. They don't feel like things are done between the two of you. They don't feel like this should be over. They're up in their head about, I'm not over you. I still want you in my life. One more for the world reversed. For thoughts. They want there to be prog progress. They could be planning on trying to talk to you because it's like, I well, do I come your direction and tell you how I feel or not? Their actual feelings is wanting to come clean with you, possibly make big changes. 
but they feel like this is slowly slipping through their hands because you're, you're kind of just cutting them out or holding back. One more for feelings. Yeah, they feel like, it's like, I know things are supposed to be completely just el dono, or maybe you're just done with them and holding back, but they want to confess their emotions. They don't feel like the two of you should be done. Action they take is the nine of cups. One more. One more for the nine. This person's going to try to convince you that the two of you still have happiness. What is the blockage? There's still love here. Blockage. Lies and bullshit. Delays. All right. Nah. Arrogance, reckless behavior, somebody that could be a show-off, somebody that could have been in and out of your life, and then you have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. And we reverse that one, that's like major red flags, manipulation, and it's almost like whatever they did at the time, they didn't care, because this is like, I was doing whatever the hell they want. You've got two cards for red flags when reversed. Could have been a player. How you see them. Wanting their independence. Moving on without you. It's like no going back anymore. Anticipate the same kind of crap happening and you staying single if they keep doing this. Feelings. They owe you a big apology. One more. You're afraid of... You, okay, it's like you're afraid to give this a second chance. It's acknowledging that they want to come in, but they still make you feel anxious about it. Yes, I see you want to come in and talk to me and you have this wonderful apology, but my... Expectations are up here. And you don't you don't know that it's like you're trying to emotionally deal with the reality. Are they ever going to be one to stick around? Because they see you holding back, knowing your value. This seems like it's like you're determined to be treated, you know, with respect and dignity and not tolerating any crap, but there's a lot of anxiety around this. It's like I don't know that I'm ready to Unisolate myself just because you are doesn't mean that I am acknowledging their apology, but this can be somebody that you continue to see them apologizing, wanting their independence. It's like it's an ongoing cycle. I would like to think that this is moving forward, but you always act this way like everything's fine and then you want your independence, so cake and eat it too. But this person could have been very in and out of your life, giving you the wrong impression. Arrogant childish couch surfer and then when we have the five here five of cups reversed it's like no i can heal the connection i miss you i i don't want it this way well then you shouldn't have lied about the fucking circumstances because their feelings this doesn't have to be over with i'm going to tell you how i feel i'm going to come clean with you and this also can be that they know that you have seen their bad sides too but they could have snuck off eh. I don't think they're holding back but I don't think they're 100% honest either but they're saying they are I'm coming clean with you I'm starting a clean slate we can do this I have faith that we can be together again Aries, Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Leo up and down, up and down Libra. Libra. Yes, the Wookiees on board. Scorpio. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Pisces. Aries. And Pisces, Cancer, and Taurus for overall energy. All right. Let's get... The shit you need to hear out. Taking the one on the bottom. So we have damned if you do and damned if you don't. Let that shit go. And let that deadbeat go. Eesh. Cut of the deck. Dare to see the situation differently. That's that hangman perspective. But when it's reversed, somebody's not seeing things clearly. Somebody's looking at letting things go. All right, Aries. That's what we have for you. And on we go. Tauruses, instead of question of the day, emoji of the day. Show us what mood you are in. All right, you guys have the magician for your overall energy. This is looking like you're working on something, and I'm feeling kind of a plot, I must say. 
Three of Swords here. This can be reconciling attempt of manifesting somebody to come back. This also can be working damn hard on your healing. But it's putting work into it. It's taking action. So it's, <laughs> let's see what you're doing here, guys. If you are dealing with an Aries Leo Sag, Elemental Quickies, Aries Leo Sagittarius. One more. One more. This is the Joker deck for anybody. I know I've got a couple Tauruses and Geminis and Sagis that like to know. Okay, this person's thinking about coming at you right. They have a the feeling of a crush. So this seems kind of new. Their action that they're taking could, could be an apology, though. Why the Three of Swords reverse for action? Because that's being more optimistic the world. This person's wanting a new chapter. Did this person just end a connection recently? Yes. Okay. Are they actually ready for something though? Any blockages? Flippers only? Okay. What do we got? Page of Pentacles. How much attention are they, uh, to detail or are they, are, are they immature? Are they really looking for something long term or not? And then we have the Page of Pentacles reverse. It might be that you're just not interested or there's a delayed opportunity or this person's not really ready. Overwhelmed, not really putting a lot of work into it or you're not interested. One more for the Page reversed. The Devil. Okay, well, uh, hmm. The Devil reversed. This person's got to drop something toxic and it could be doing with another person that they're not interested or that you're not interested. This can be just you saying, you know, my gut's telling me that this is probably not a good idea. How do you see this person? <laughs> okay, well, that would be acknowledging their recent ending, but done. Hurt, betrayed. Emperor, you see them as trying to act stronger than they possibly are. Feelings towards them. Seven of Pentacles. Kind of maybe. Nine of Swords. But there's got to be more optimism here. It's like maybe if things got better, then I'd open up. So you got a maybe baby on here. It's like, eh. Not knowing, you, this person's really, yes, you say you're stable, you say you're ready for something like that, but you just had an ending, because this is like, I, I gotta think about this. You need a little bit more time, possibly, to get your balance together, because it's like, I'm not sure if I'm gonna invest, invest in this unless there's a little bit more stability and things are more optimistic. So this person could be giving you the feeling that they're a little bit, on the doggy donor side, when we take that page of pentacles reversed, it can be somebody that you feel like just kind of is staying your distance just for the time being until they drop the toxic feelings that they have from somebody from their past. But their, you know, their thoughts is that you are definitely somebody that is stable and worthwhile. And I mean, it's immature energy it does feel like something new, but this person is still trying to get over something else. And I think they're kind of pushing it a little bit. Wanting an opportunity, yes, but I think like you're communicating and definitely telling this person, yes, I've manifested somebody. I guess you're, what you bring in is what you're manifesting. It's what you're asking for. It's what you are. So you can be also in the same situation. Just saying, that's what the universe sends us. What we attract is what we are. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, thoughts, source. Okay, page of source. Apprehensive. Trying to gain knowledge. The sun. They feel very optimistic about you. They would like to spend time with you. They feel like you're happy-go-lucky and definitely somebody that's worth knowing. Eight of Wands. That's saying that they're coming in with communication. No barriers here. This is a go for it. They feel like everything's a go, but in their head, one more. A little apprehensive. They could feel a little bit intimidated by you. Page of Wands. Yeah, I'm thinking that's more that. Are there two here reversed? Yes. No. Not two. 
So this is somebody that's not worried about competition necessarily. They're sexually curious about you, but they want you to take them seriously. They might not feel like they live up to like they live up to your standards or that you might be disappointed in them, but they're going for it. How do you see this person? How do you see them? Six of Cups. Well, that would be comfortable. You know, it can be somebody that you have dated in the past or that she just would be that kind and reliable and faithful and knowing what to expect from them. That is really nice energy for how you see them. Feelings towards them. I like that. Six of Wands. I'm going to acknowledge you. I want your attention. This feels good. This is like I've been rewarded from the universe. Then you have the Ace of Wands. You're sexually interested in this person. Using your head and your heart, but ooh, feeling like this could actually go somewhere. This is nice energy. I feel like they're a little bit trying to prove themselves because the page and of swords and wands together can be a little bit younger than you and therefore trying to live up to the expectations. But this is beautiful energy. Now, if this is somebody from the past, which it can be, or can be comparing, you could be comparing, you remind me of my ex. However... This is looking sweet. It's a victory. We like it. That's a go for it. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Strength. See a little sloth up in the tree? Diddle that daddling around. Trying to get the balls up. Nine of Wands. Ooh, they're very, very passionate about pursuing you. So they feel that you're hot to trap. Then you got the Wheel of Fortune. I want thing. I mean, they definitely want to take a chance. I feel like this is a big change. It's like, ooh. How do you see them? Very optimistically. So you see them putting the moves on you, daydreaming about you. You have faith in this person that things could move forward. But you might be feeling like they're being very positive. But holding back a little why? Why is strength for them the thoughts? Four of Pentacles. Okay. I, I just feel like this person's a little bit a little bit controlling. Or might be afraid that you are a little bit controlling. Because there is hesitation. Alright, one more for how you see them. Yeah, and then that could make that person a little bit hard to understand. Like they have got a little bit of a, or they're giving you the feeling that they're kind of holding back, not completely being mushy-gushy and lovey-dovey where, you know, you were kind of hoping that they would be. But the king is very intelligent, likes to have the final word. This is somebody that's very analytical, so it might be hard to get to know them. They do not wear their heart on sleeve. Your feelings... Ace of Cups, this is going somewhere. Yep, yep, yep. Two of Cups, nice. This is saying that you... <sighs> bottom of the deck, you have justice. Yes, I want this opportunity. I feel like you're honest. You feel like a decent person. I'm going for this. This person can be an air sign. But the King of Swords, like I said, can be somebody... I, they're not manipulative, no. But it's like you wish that they would open up a little bit more because they're a little bit guarded. But this is really nice. You guys got some nice energy here. Feels like a lot of new stuff. Even though at the beginning, it feels like some of you are trying to manifest somebody back. So we'll see what we get here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Swords. Okay. Four of Swords reversed, Two of Swords reversed, Four of Swords reversed. I want to come back. I want to, I'm edgy, I want to talk, I'm sick of the, the non-communication crap. Two of Swords, I feel like you have judged me incorrectly, I think you've made the wrong decision about me. Action. Five of Swords reversed, okay, they are kind of biting their tongue and that can be an apology. One more. Because they've got some regrets about what they've said. And then that is showing you a hell of a lot more respect. Still having feelings for you. So, I mean, that's... They know that you're waiting to be approached. Blockage. Five of Wands. That could have been competition. That could have been drama. Bullshit games. Mind games. Okay. 
they might have thought they might have thought that you were a little bit too clingy too emotional they could have hurt you and stepped out of the connection causing some drama five of cups therefore reversed that again you have two fives reversed wanting to you can't take away the actions that you've done. You can't take away the hurtful words. But regretting things that have been done and possibly trying to... I mean, it's going over and over in their mind. What do I do about this? Four of Wands. All right. You see them wanting a connection again. You see them possibly as your soulmate. Ten of Cups. Yeah, you see them wanting you back and wanting to be home. This is manifesting somebody back. Feelings towards them. Okay, very direct. So you could be denying, I don't think you're denying. You're making it hard to read and you're being like, I'm independent, I don't need to have you in my life. Some of you are just gonna ignore this. King of Cups, can you or not? Because, you know, they're, again, thinking with your head and heart for your coins. Some of you, I feel like this is a split. Some of you are not going to be interested in this shit because you're too, you got the cock block queen with the four of cups. I'm not looking at your, I'm not looking at your opportunity here as something I'm interested. And some of you, I feel like, yes, we can try to make this work, but you actually have to put a foundation there to make it work because you still have love for them. Either way, no matter what, Happiness, clarity, stability, but there could have been jealousy too. That Queen of Wands can be somebody that is moody and it could have been that they caused drama because of friction between the two of you, but that also could have been somebody that stepped out and was cheating, just period. Many Cups can be a lot of different things. One more for the Queen of Cups. Clarify the Queen of Cups for blockage. Eight of Swords. Mm. This is looking like somebody <laughs> that let you go. They let you go because of drama and bullshit, and it does feel like they thought you were moody or too smothering. So I don't really feel third party in there, but they they feel like you've been they've been judged incorrectly. Well, it seems like they're the ones that were judgy, honestly. You're too moody, you're too this, you're too that, blah, blah, blah. And then they change their mind. Kind of a roller coaster. This is somebody that could be trying to make up excuses and push some of the blame on you. Just saying. All right, let's see what we have for majors. Let's do one more. If you want your person back, their thoughts. Hermit. Please go the fuck away. Feelings. Tower. Just thinking it's done right now. One more. Five of coins. This is somebody that's staying right where they're at right now. So if they abandon you, that's, they're done. They're not sure what the hell direction to head, but they're trying to heal. They're done. Taking things hard, they're done right now. So they're doing a lot of thinking and they don't, they don't want to talk. No. All right. Let's call it the majors. Come here, card. All right. So we have Capricorn. Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Virgo, Libra, Taurus, Aquarius. Yeah, if you guys that are single meet somebody and they're real standoffish and quiet, I think that's just their personality and might take a while to, with that King of Swords, take time to get them to open up. Leo. Leo again, but all signs are in here. I consider the magician to be all signs, but can be air and fire. All right. So we are taking the shit you need to hear deck, taking the one at the bottom. When you get tired of being motherfucking tired, you'll stop. All right, source, random for sources. What do they need to hear? They're toxic as fuck. All right, and a cut. 
Time to put those ass-kicking boots on. All right, don't take no shit. You got a lot of iffy energy there. That's uh, if you're trying to reconcile with somebody or trying to manifest them back. Be careful. Think twice. All right, Tauruses, that's what we have for you. And we go Gemini's. Okay, instead of question of the day, we're doing emoji again. So put up an emoji that tells us how you feel. Say why if you want to. Don't if you don't want to. You guys have the overall energy of the hermit. So a little bit withdrawn. Doing a little bit of thinking. This has to do with somebody coming your direction. Are you interested? This can be new dating. This can be a reconciliation. But it doesn't look like you're completely interested or you're spending too much time in the damn house. And it's source telling you to get the hell out and have some time with some friends. All right. Elements of quickies. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, Satch. Aries, Leo, Satch. Fire sign, source. A person's thoughts. Oh, boy. This person feels manipulated. They feel like your communication sucks ass. All right, their feelings. Fuck this shit, I'm out. I'm leaving the baggage behind me. Action. Ah, one more. They're watching you, but this person's a lying. Oh, son of a bitch. They're in a different connection already. Black edge. King of Cups, okay. Um, emotionally breaking your fucking heart. Seriously. King of Wands. I'm sorry, cheater, cheater, chicken, beater. What the hell? One more for Blockage. Clarify the King of Wands. They gave up. They completely gave up. This is somebody that we take both of these. I'm emotionally immature. I act like a child. I need a box of fucking crayons and a coloring book. I get bored easily. King of Wands reversed. Stepping in, stepping out. It's like a larger version of the playgirl, playboy. Completely dropping it. Not wanting the burdens of, you know, your emotions. Their thoughts suck ass. One more for their thoughts. Yeah. Oh. They're biting their tongue. They may feel like you gave them the right act. Because the King of Swords reversed to somebody that's like, wow, major major ruthless communication and conflict how do you see them emperor standing their ground protecting their lies oh shit no kidding protecting their lies protecting their secret none of your business what i'm up to feelings towards them four of swords Go away. I'm having some Ben and Jerry's and I'm taking a break from your bullshit. Five of Cups reverse. I feel like you're just saying, I'm done. I, I'm just, I gotta move on. I'm thinking about, you're thinking about the betrayal, but this is you moving on, thinking about your finances and thinking that, you know, this was not going to be something long term. They're toxic as fuck. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. This person already has another person. And that page of swords reversed, that can be somebody that puts you in a third-party situation and they're acting like they didn't get together with that person until afterwards and they're full of shit. All right, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The moon. This person's afraid of what? Okay. Sheesh. They're scared. They're apprehensive. This is somebody that has got the sleepless night syndrome. Okay, so you have insomnia. Why do we care? I'm keeping my secrets to myself and it's getting to me. Uh -huh. This can be somebody that's afraid of you finding something out. Apprehensive feelings. Curious. Uh -huh. Action. Action, action, action. Okay. Action is to boss up and act right and give you the feeling of security. And then one more for feelings, because that's kind of immature. Curious. Do you still have a chip on your shoulder? Are you available? Will you talk to me? They're wanting to come in and communicate. What is the blockage? Wasted your time not offering something stable. 
you could have let them go. Okay, yeah, they got good reason to be all up in their head. This is somebody that cheated, just straight up cheated. They weren't committing, and you could have went snip, snip, arts and crafts time. You want arts and crafts time? I'll give you some arts and crafts time. I'm cutting you out. You want your independence? This person could have lied to you or somebody else about their singleness. Not single. Somebody that's selfish, that they do whatever the hell they want, and they don't want it. This person's up in their head. They're going, snap, my actions have caused a major issue. But they're acting like they got everything together. And uh, No, no, I'm reliable. One more for their action. Yeah, they want you back. Ten of swords reversed. I'm going to try to make up for everything, honey. How do you see this person? All right. You see them wanting a reconciliation. You see them wanting to win, but you're not a fucking trophy. Your feelings? You got a lot of pride. All right, one more. That can be trying to heal and holding back. One more for your energy. You might just start over. I mean, this is like, I need my security. Starting over, this would be new because I don't think you trust this. It's like lies, disgrace, bullshit, disgrace, disgrace, disgrace. Shame on you for sneaking around. This person's got a secret or so they thought. This just looks like you're saying, I need to heal, I'm holding back, I'm done. Now, some of you could say, I still have hope and faith in this emotional tie, but you got to start from ground zero so that I can trust you again. So take it how it resonates. All right. But they're, they're worried, they're scared. Even if they're acting macho on the outside, like, everything's fine. No. Nope. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Source. All right, this person has very, <laughs> they're thinking about how you might be getting attention from other people. They want an opportunity with you. They want to have things be balanced between the two of you, so they want to spend time with you. Action by the Eight of Cups. They're desiring more, but are they walking away from you? Ah, who are they walking away from? This person is just looking to toy with you. I think one more for the Six of Pentacles for their feelings. Mmm, that's the blockage. They're not over somebody else. They walked away, but they're not over somebody else. This person could get bored easily, but they're not looking for any breakthrough. They're not looking for something new. They they would this would not be an opportunity. They're thinking you look good enough to eat, but that's about it. How do you see this person? All right. Well, I would say that you see this person is uh, a little bit on the controlling side, and you're trying to keep your emotional distance because you see them kind of cold. So wanting to stay independent, well, that's kind of somebody looking for a one-nighter or something on that note. Feelings, nine of cups, three of coin, reversed. You don't feel, I mean, this is going to, it's like, okay, it could be fun for a while, but not going to go anywhere. You might just let this go and go onward to a different direction, no looking back. I think you already know that this isn't going anywhere. It's like, yeah, you, you know, you... You want one thing. I mean, you want one thing. Chariot, determined to have an opportunity with you. But their their actions are going to speak louder than their words. Because this is somebody that is toxic. Walked away from somebody else emotionally. Seeking something more. This is the kind of person that's never freaking happy. And they're, you're not a trampoline. Let's just say that. Not a trampoline. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, this person could be jealous. All right. They feel a connection with you, or they would like to be content, happy with you in a connection. Action, they, that's nothing. That's nothing. That's keeping their opinion to themselves. Ah, ha, ha, ha. They're lying to themselves. That's a blockage. 
Queen of Cups. Knight of Cups. I'm sorry, but this is looking like somebody that could have been uh, playing footsie around and feels like you smothered the shit out of them. And um, this can be somebody that would tell you anything that you want to hear. Their actions, lying about a connection. Standing their ground. Being defensive. How do you see them? Three of Wands. Okay. Well, you're expecting to get to know this person, feelings. But you know that they have... Mm, you're interested in this, but you feel like an option possibly. Just saying. This person could have been smothered by the person that they have feelings for or still have feelings for and walked out on them. I would be very, very careful. One more for the four of wands. See what I'm saying? They're in a timeout. This is somebody that has blockages up the ass. They're not over their ex or they walked away from somebody that they thought they loved. They could have had a very good reason for it, but it's kind of looking like they felt smothered or or that you this person or you were overbearing. But that's somebody that the Knight of Cups reversed, not doing anything romantic to stick around, not one damn bit. No. And that feels like somebody that's coming at towards singles. What do we have for singles? All right, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, intention. Ooh, give me an opportunity. I'd like to bring something up with you. You make me feel comfy, cozy. It can be somebody that you already know. And they want to move things slow and methodical. And then you have the fool here with the Wheel of Fortune. So singles, definitely looking better. But it does seem like you got kind of like a bonehead in the mixture here. So if you have more than one options... A few options. Be careful. Be careful because this is like, I'd like to have a fresh start. I'd like to start things up. I'm a hard worker. I can meet them through work. I'm comfortable with you. You all might already know them. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But the rest of this stuff, kind of up and down, uppity, uppity. It does look like you're doing a lot of introspection, self reflection just kind of being withdrawn from the world and doing some heavy thinking though all right let's see what we have pisces cancer aries leo aquarius sagittarius gemini pisces pisces cancer Aries. Virgo. Cancer. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. And this can be, um, I'm happy with no matter what. Having everything going for yourself. Content, but not on the same page with that person. Knowing it's not going anywhere, but might be fun on the side. Just saying. It's almost like you're okay with it for the time being. Capricorn. All right, but all signs are in here. Okay, we're getting out shit you need to hear. Source. First, we're going with the one on the bottom. How your replacement looks is damn near disrespectful. Mm, okay. Bitch, you running out now? Okay, and then a cut. Haters gonna hate. I'm wondering if that's, uh, ooh, and then this one fell out too. Make your next move your best move. I'm wondering if this, um, whoever you've been replaced by is uh, almost disrespectful because they look like you. Just saying. Why, 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 why? People do that? Don't know. No, it's just because I really like brunettes or redheads or, yeah, no, I don't think so. All right, Jimmy's, that's what we have for you on we go. Crabby pâtés. Okay, instead of the question of the day, emoji of the day again. It's kind of fun. Whatever mood you are in, put up an emoji if you would like to. All right, let's start with the negative aspects of what we see here because this can be hoping somebody gets some payback or hoping somebody gets paid back royally like with karma. Defense is up. Could be a little jealousy going on here. 
This also can be somebody that's wanting an opportunity and you're taking the higher ground. But this can be hope and faith and a connection and getting, you know, as somebody receiving. It's receiving attention, receiving optimism. We like that. But it can be hoping somebody gets slapped with the karma stick. All right. Aries Leo Sag. Elemental Wikis. Source. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Five of Coins. Okay. And the Nine of Cups. Okay, why the Five of Pentacles for Thoughts? Six of Swords. Hmm. Can we leave the baggage behind us? Or are you going to continue ignoring me? One more for Thoughts, because this person wants to try it again. Seven of Swords. Are they lying to themselves? This person is thinking about the deceit or lies that they, um, they <laughs> caused you. They feel like you just do not want to talk to them. They feel like you're just leaving them behind, but they're hoping for different. This is like, I want my wishes fulfilled. Me, me, me for action. One more for action. Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. This person sees that you're still, they feel like you're vulnerable. They want to still take a stab at this. What is the actual blockage? Disrespecting you, stepping out, cheating, feeling smothered. Uh, lies and bullshit, manipulation, mutual blaming. Uh, it's looking like it's time to release this shit. This is somebody that may have one of their independence cake and eat it too. Greener grass on another side. Stepping out. Treating you less than. Not getting the, the respect you deserve. Definitely not getting the respect you deserve. This can be a divorce. Anything of that sort. But it's looking like you're ignoring this person on purpose and just trying to let go of this. How do you see this person? Okay. Candy ass mofo going the wrong direction, possibly making a choice between two, and you're trying to get over them. Hope they get trampled by a damn chariot, all right, or a bus or anything else. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so you see them wanting their independence, but they also could have caused, uh, like they stepped out and now they're single and therefore trying to come your direction because their little karmic bullshit didn't work out. Feelings. Queen of Cups, you don't trust it. You feel hurt, betrayed, abandoned. Ugh. I feel like you're moving on. It's like shit's got to change and I'm done with this. You feel like they're a flirt, a player, somebody that you can't trust, and you're like, I, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm letting it go. I've viewed this from every damn different direction, and this is not the sacrifice I'm willing to... They weren't offering you anything stable. This is bullshit. No. So, yeah, they see you as not wanting to talk to them and possibly blocking their communication, but I would say that you're not willing to forgive that person. Ouch. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Ten of Swords. This person feels betrayed, stabbed in the deck. They're having a hard time with the ending between the two of you. Ace of Wands for feelings. Mm. Death. I feel like they're letting this go. Why the Ace of Wands for feelings? Did they get back together with somebody else that they have been? Did they reconnect with somebody else? I feel like this person put you in a third party, broke your damn heart. Their action is letting this go. Ending things. Ending things. One more for thoughts. So they feel like the two of you are done. Yeah, I'm sorry, but this person made a, you an option. It's very similar energy to the first damn one. It's the blockage. Oh, seriously. You got a player that secrets came out, and they're a fucking manipulator. Okay, how do you see them? Look at the flipped right in the deck. 
There's the payback. I hope you get what you have coming to you. You're not giving to this anymore. You're like, I know you breadcrumbed me. You're judging very accurately. You hope they learn a lesson. Your feelings, thou shalt not put me in competition. You're done. You're, you're tossing it, chuck it in the fucking bucket. You are holding back. Not worth the effort, not worth the period. But this seems like this person's got a big heart on for somebody that they've been interested in before. And I think they ended things with you to be with another person. No, no, no. Manipulating central shit. Heal, heal, heal. Down. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, this person's kind of waiting. Feelings, Queen of Wands. Right. Action, okay, very nice. All right, let's see what you think of them. All right, you have the fool on the page. Okay, so you see them as a little bit, okay, interested in dating, but they do act a little bit intimidated. This might be somebody that could be younger than you, trying to negotiate to get you to, you know, go on a date with them. Feelings, I mean, you're feeling that they're a charmer and romantic and that this could go somewhere. Strength again. Okay, resilience, having the courage. This looks like this person would be very determined, paying attention, wanting to continue seeing you. They're very sexually drawn to you. They feel like you're outgoing and fun. The hangman, that's kind of waiting for you to say yes. Yeah, they want you to make up your damn mind. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. They're like, I know you, they might also think that you have more than one option, but they want to make plans with you, and they want to continue seeing you. So that's hope. So after the healing, we have hope. Yes. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Source. All right. This person is thinking about optimism, hope, faith, 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 faith. Person has values, norms. Devil, sexually attracted though. <laughs> They're the kind of person that behaves themselves until you get behind the bedroom door. King of Wands, definitely. They're chasing your ass. Three of Cups. This is somebody that wants to take you out. They're interested in moving things forward. Their feelings? Oh, I want some a lot of cancer. I want some a lot of. Lusty, very lusty. Eight of Wands, they're going for it too. <clears throat> this is somebody that feels like there's nothing in the way of this at all. They're thinking that you could be the right type of person that has similar norms and values and they want to learn more about you. How do you see them? Page of Cups, all right, coming in with a little crushy, crushy. Queen of Swords, a little bit guarded. Your feelings, nice. And you know what's right at the bottom of the deck is the Page of Pentacles. So it's like, I'd like to learn more about you too. This feels like this person is initiating. Your feelings is that this could go somewhere. You'd like to see, I mean, this is dedication. Ha ha ha, this looks nice. Very drawn to you, very sexually interested in you, and not, nothing's going to stop them and their wild horses from coming in. But they actually have longevity here. Wanting to come in ask you out. This is somebody that wants something to celebrate with you in and out of bed. But you feel like, I mean, they're very confident, but they want you to take them seriously, even if they are younger. This looks really nice. like it. All right, quite the mix and combo here, guys. Let's call out all the majors for you. You have the overall energy of Aquarius. All right. Virgo, Cancer, Libra, Libra, Taurus. Pisces, Cancer, Gemini. Scorpio, Leo, Capricorn, Taurus, 
Leo again. Aries, Pisces. All right. Optimism. Yeah, I do think that you're looking for somebody to get some payback, though. That was the overall energy. I hope somebody gets some karma. I hope I get payback. All right. Now we're getting out the shit you need to hear. So bottom of the deck first. Shit you need to hear. Bottom of the deck, we have how your replacement looks is damn near disrespectful. Okay, we're not taking that one. Make your next move your best. I need one shuffle in here. Because that is what we had before. All right. Let's try this again. See the beauty in your own reflection and a cut. Jealousy is an illness. Get well soon, bitch. Oof. And one random source. I think the fuck not. Change direction. Well, I think we know who that is. And then get laser focused. Seems like something new is coming in. Ooh, some bitterness. All right, my Krabby Patties. On we go. Leos. Okay. Set a question of the day. Emoji of the day. So put up a little emoji. Tell us how you're feeling today. Okay. Instead of question of the day. And the Wookiee is in the house today. Zero. Yep, that one. So you have the overall energy of, say it again, Wookie. Zero. <laughs> you have justice. Now with a cut, and here, this can be somebody that wants to reconcile, coming at you with honesty, clarity, wanting a resolution, wanting peace, wanting to regain balance. This also can be just somebody that you're comfortable with coming your direction for a new beginning. Honest, clarity, clear, could be a right one, can just be a Libra. Let's see what we get. Libra. Elemental. God. Elemental quickies. Source for my Leos. Aries Leo Sag. You are dealing with another fire sign. Came out sideways. We're taking it sideways. This person's up in their head. Hardcore. Do I step in? Do I try to talk to Leo? Feelings. Okay. This person wants to try to resolve the painful situation between the two of you. Action. Chariot. Okay, one more for the chariot. They are determined to try to have a future with you. But in their head, they're kind of scared. Kind of a pussy. Why are they such a candy ass? Because they want this to continue. They want things to go better between the two of you. They would like the relationship to continue. One more for feelings. Ten of swords. They're not over you. All right, what's the blockage? This person needed to see the bigger picture. They didn't give you a sense of security. And now you could be waiting for something better. And they're afraid of that. One more. Seven of Wands. There could have been a streak of jealousy that this person caused you and you could have walked away or vice versa. That's somebody that's got major, screw this shit. I don't care anymore. I'm not acknowledging this. But there could have been jealousy issues that made this person feel like I'm backing down. Acting territorial, overwhelmed, not sure how to approach, so they gave up. Chicken. One more. And then you have the Eight of Swords. This person feels like you are partially to blame. Whether you released them from your chambers and said, I've had enough of your shit or not. All right, how do you see them? Wanting to reconcile. Wanting to come back. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Basically giving you whatever you want want to try to have balance, to try to have peace. They want to resolve this. Your feelings. Four of Cups. Might not be so fucking interested in this bullshit story here. You're not really. Five of Wands. Nope, 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 nope. They want you to compromise. You're saying I'm not interested in compromise. I might be starting over because this is a fresh energy. Well, who's coming your direction then? The Empress. Okay, somebody that's paying more attention to you, whether you see it or... I mean, you got the Ace. You guys are starting over. Uh-uh. 
Somebody's going to show me a lot more respect. I'm, you know, getting uh, a lot more sexual action from somebody else, too. I'm not interested in your compromise. Yeah, they may already know that you have started over, but this is looking like you said, I got a better opportunity, and I'm going with it. So karma for them. But it does look like, and if, ha if somebody has not approached you, it does look like you're still waiting for that. You might have your eyeball on somebody, but interested nonetheless. All right. It can be a Libra or a Taurus. Libra. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Oh, my God. Okay. Three of coins for thoughts, feelings. The Emperor. Mm. Action. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Why the three of pentacles for feeling or thoughts? This person is thinking that the two of you belong together, that this is something that really could work out. This is somebody that wants to be taken seriously. They're into long-term connections. They're feeling like this is something that they want to anchor down. The action is getting to know you better. Queen of Cups. Ooh. This person really feels like you have a lot to offer. They see you as all mushy-gushy, caring, very emotional, but soft-spoken. They, they, yeah. Their action is trying to get to know you better and lay some groundwork for a foundation. Two of Wands. You might think that you have more than one option, but they are very curious. They just feel like you're their future. Six of coins. They want an opportunity. They're going to try to be very giving. They could offer you a gift, but because that it can be a card of giving and receiving. Two of wands. Fascination. Wanting to explore this connection. How do you see this person? Mm, some serious energy. Two of cups. All right. You know they want a connection. You do feel like you have things in common, though. Hangman. T. This feels like they're kind of holding back or waiting. So they might be checking you out from a distance, but uh, they're trying. So if they are kind of playing the friend zone, I'm trying to get to know you better, it's because they, they aren't messing around. This is somebody that has serious intention of making sure that you're the you know right one. They feel damn good about it. They're optimistic. The hangman, they could be making you, you know, wait a little bit. Feelings. All right. Magician. It's like if they don't make a move, I'm gonna. Because you're interested. It's like, come on already, give me what I want. <laughs> You have the Queen and the King of Cups. This feels like a good connection. You want this opportunity. You want this person to give you a chance. It's like, come at me already. But it does feel like they're making you wait a little bit, and it is because they're so serious about it. You see this person emotionally mature. You feel like they need to make some action. It's like, let's communicate already. Let's see where this can go. I mean, the devil can be a Capricorn, but you're interested to see where this can go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's like if you don't make a move, my Leos are going to make a move. But they do want to continue and they want to see the two of you get on the same page. And they might be taking it as a, let's start with friends and work into it. And you're like, come on with this friendship bullshit. Let's just get out of here. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. World reversed. I don't have any closure. I don't feel like we're done. I don't like the way I feel. Death. That can be promising changes. They don't want to be single, but are they codependent? One more for their action. They're trying to be optimistic. Uh, but I feel like they're not being 100% honest with you. Uh-uh. Why death? Feelings. No, they're embellishing the truth. I think you have lost the faith in them and that you felt disappointed by them and they're disappointed as well so what is the blockage five of swords dodging bullets not being completely honest then you have the fool 
they it's almost like they they're optimistic to take a new approach to an old problem and you're kind of going uh, <laughs> let's start again let's take it to another level and you're going um no you're holding back this is you not feeling like there's influenced by this person's approach and not really digging it lust versus love six of wands that is somebody that is damn determined to win how do you see them not reliable never knowing what to expect from them shit never goes well feelings done whatever they did you're not getting over it you, this is basically saying large child large player always having to have your way stubborn as hell could have walked out and cheated but it feels like you're trying to heal so this is you saying karma please slap this person in the face both cheeks please you don't see this going anywhere you're losing interest it's you know and they're like oh woe is me poor me and you're like you, you don't think everybody else is? hello that takes two to tangle but you're just you you're done you're pulling the rug out and you're saying the lock has changed the lock has changed i'm in it to win it and you're holding back you're saying i don't trust your immature energy and it seems like they're trying to sidestep the drama when we have the five of swords reversed it's like oh snap what can i do now because i walked away in the first place and was an asshole this person could have been in a third party situation that they hid but now they have more optimism. This is somebody that could be codependent, very much so, but they feel like you're losing faith in them, no shit, because they're a manipulator. I don't like it. No, 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 but they're not over you. All right, Taurus, Virgo, Caps. Three of Cups, thinking about a celebration or getting back together, feelings. Nine of Cups, woe is me, nothing ever is going my way. I'm trying to make this wonderful wish. I want us to leave the baggage behind us, but I feel like I just am being booted. Eight of Wands, they feel like there's blockages here, and I would say they are not reaching out. There can be jealousy here, too. Nine of Wands reversed. I think they're just giving up. What is a blockage? Okay, their attitude is the blockage. This is somebody that is emotionally unhealthy. Bad judgment, disagreements, conflict, excess of anything that can be over drinking, over screwing, gambling, whatever you name it, and a commitment phobe. Feeling like you judged this person and felt misled by them. This person could have acted like they were being confined and then got shitty and verbiage and, you know, just not ethical. Going their own way and you went, okay, then go. Four of Wands. That's a breakup. That's not feeling like this person's got any backbone. They're spineless. How do you see them? Yeah, they, you're so unsure about this person. It's like, uh-uh. I'm not an option. You had secrets. Your feelings. That flipped when it hit the deck. You feel like they have lied to you. You feel like it, there's no going back. You're done. Too many red flags. Too many arguments. Cutting it out. Had enough. Queen of Pentacles. Disrespected. You don't feel like you can trust this person as far as you can throw them. They wanted something for nothing. They were selfish. They were insecure when they said they cared about you. They could have been somebody that acted vengeful, insecure, and then taking it out on you. Ick, ick, ick. Single source. Who? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius intentions they want to be taken seriously all right i'd be careful with this one they want an opportunity with you there could be secrets that come out about this person but i just don't feel like you're gonna let it slip out of your hands it's like it's not worth holding on to 
not worth having because this can be somebody that walked away from somebody else and therefore you're going, uh Gemini Libra Aquarius, judging clearly, seeing clearly, having a wake up call. There's some red flags here with this person. I think that you're just gonna drop it. I you know, I don't I don't think you're going to be interested. You even have the Knight of Wands here revert. No. No. Sorry guys. Today is not a good day for my Leos. Ouch. All right, let's call out the majors. So we have Libra. Libra. Taurus. Cancer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces. All right, Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aquarius, Scorpio, a lot of reversals, Aries, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, and Aries. This is Source telling you, do what is best for you, though, with justice. Okay. So we are getting out the shit you need to hear. Shit you need to hear. Bottom of the deck. We just had that one. Just had it. Put your blinders on and grind. Okay, cut. Self-care is not selfish. Mm. And then a random one, source, my Leo's. Leo, 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 okay. Get laser focused. Trust yourself first. Always trust yourself and your gut. You're a Leo, you guys are good at that. All right, Leo's, that's what we have for you, and on we go. Virgo. So instead of question of the day, emoji of the day, tell us how you're feeling just with an emoji. Share why if you would like to. Don't if you don't want to. Overall energy is nice. Now, that can be healing. That can be balance. That can be restoring your balance, having healed. But it does look like somebody is interested in laying some groundwork with you and getting to know you. It can be somebody that starts with friend zone. Kind of like it. Manifestations, wanting to move things forward. Serious intention, but starting small. It can be somebody that you work with. All right, Aries Leo Sagittarius source. Person's thoughts. Ooh, I am the boss. I like security. I need to know where they sit. Okay, feelings. This person's definitely got feelings. This person wants family. They want something long term. How do you see them? Awfully serious energy. You see them. All right. Possibly jealous type two. So you're taking the high ground. You see them as really being stubborn. Your feelings towards them. You aren't interested. But they could be jealous of somebody else. Okay. I mean, this is somebody that's coming at you. Honestly, you do feel like they're offering. That's having faith in this. Why do we have the four of coins for how you see them? Really wanting to have, I mean, that is somebody that's damned and determined to have, wanting to hold on to the situation. They don't want to have any jealousy issues between the two of you at all. This looks nice. I mean, this is somebody that is wanting respect, demanding respect, and giving it back, but they can be on the jealous side, okay? Like, they don't like to be challenged, but this is, this is nice. Faith, ooh. So this looks like Netflix chill. Get to know this person. But it does look like somebody that wants to hold on to, you know, once they make a decision, they stick to it. I like it. And justice at the bottom of the deck could be a right person for you. Coming at you with honesty and clarity. We like it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Thoughts. This person's wondering if you're interested. They're interested in you. They're kind of going... Oh, are they interested in me? They also could have hit a secret. Let's see what their feelings are. Feelings. Right. 
Ooh, love. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Wow, wow. Ooh, baby. Action. Woo! Ignore that. We're having some electrical work. I'm <laughs> sorry. They're, this person is taking action. They got a back wall and they want to stabilize. Again, the feeling of stabilizing connection. This is somebody that feels like you have, you're open, that you're available. They want to, again, anchor this down. This is somebody that's emotionally balanced, emotionally mature, thinking with their head and their heart. But curious here, how do you see this person? I just got some fresh energy. Honest and for true. This is a new beginning, a big change. Ooh. Diligence. You see them as somebody that puts a lot of work and passion into a connection. Holy man, your feelings. Bring it on, chief. You feel like this person is giving you an honest offer. It's almost like too good to be true. you got a wet dream here, and they're all, I'm so interested in you. It's like, do I approach you or not? But they're, they're wow. You're interested in seeing where this can go. You're interested in this person. You see them as charming, feeling like this is somebody that you know what to expect, that they're emotionally disciplined, family type person. I'd like to get to know you better. Let's hang out. I'm definitely saying Netflix and chill times two. We like it. We like it, we love it. We want more of it. Taurus, Virgo, no, I'm sorry, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I gotta stop doing that. Once in a while I go in the wrong order and then I schmuck up. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. King of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. This person is kind of indignant about things going better between the two of you are wanting a change. Feelings. All right, one more for feelings. Because it's kind of like I'm wondering if this is going to pay off. They're wondering if you're going to talk to them again. They feel like they feel like you're taking an emotional break and that you don't want to talk at all. Action. Who do they take? And then they might just start over and say, fuck this shit. But they're watching you. This person could in their mind said, fuck this. You're, you're not even talking to me. What's the point? Starting over, but still watching you from afar. What is the blockage? Okay, well that ain't good. Feeling of abandonment. Could have been financial arguments. But this is emotional poverty. Abandonment. Leaving you on the cold. Leaving you empty handed. Leaving with nothing emotionally. Things not going your way. Wishes that fall to the side. No happiness. This looks like you weren't happy in this connection at all. One more for blockage. Lack of stability. Lack of knowing where the... Too much friction. Not knowing what was going to happen between the two of you. It just feels like you kind of grew apart. How do you see this person? Done. You know that they're out checking other people out. It's like, go ahead. I, I don't care anymore. Feelings. You're trying to be optimistic. I feel like you're trying to heal. So like, here's hope. Here's hope. I hope this shit is over with. You're done. You're done. You're going forward. It's like nothing's getting in my way. You might be like... I can finally breathe again. It just feels like you're okay with this. But this person's still watching you. You got a stalker. Even if you're trying to block them, it doesn't matter. They're still trying to find a way to watch you. You're done is done is done. You're not sacrificing. You've had revelations about where this was and you weren't happy. It wasn't worth it. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Source. Okay. This person's thoughts. Hmm. Trying to get away with something. Trying to pull a fast one on you. Their feelings. Mm -hmm. Do they, you know, this is like almost feeling like somebody that feels like you've got karma. One more for thoughts. There's a... 
This person's full of shit, holding back, snuck away. They can't make a decision possibly between two. This is somebody that might want a resolution. I'd say they're definitely wanting to take action. One more. Yep, they do. They want back in. So what's the blockage? Fucking flirt. Reckless. Two-timer. Had to choose between you and another person. No discipline in this person. They're arrogant. Careless. No direction. And now they want to come back. Somebody that's in and out of your life. Now you could have rejected them and then they try again and they try again and they try again. Too many fucking secrets. Now if we took this one or this one had come out and we would therefore reverse it, that's hidden secrets coming to light. It's also major red flags. This seems like this person made a bad choice. Fell on a penis or into a vagina. How do you see them? You hope they get karma. It's like, you know what? This is, un you know, I hope you get paid back. I hope that, it's like, no. See, I felt that. I hope somebody gets paid back. Go away. I don't want to talk to you. I'm frustrated with you. I'm done. You can, you can wait until hell freezes over. You have no interest anymore. Your feelings, you think they're toxic, that they're addicted to sex, that they're addicted to whatever it is, and you're saying, I'm leaving you behind me. I'm done. I'm starting over. I need more security. You're done, done, done. This person breadcrumbed. That whatever they have that they're sitting on, they deserved what they what what they have coming. They they deserve it. They deserve to sit there and wonder what do I do now. They thought they got one away, got away with something, or pulled one over on you. This is somebody that made a bad choice, and now they're not seeing what the hell to do. They they feel like everything's the balls in your court, and you're the only one that can make a move because they don't know what to do. They're gonna try to get you back. Feelings. I can make a resolution here. I can cause peace and harmony too. No, I'm healing. You need to go the fuck away. Please go away. Okay, so you have Sagittarius, Taurus, Taurus again, Libra, Aries, Pisces, Cancer, Capricorn, poor Cappies. You get such a bad rappies, Cappies, Cancer. Libra, Scorpio, Scorpio again, Aries, karma man, karma right there, things aren't going my way, well, you know, maybe you deserved it, all right, healing, and then Netflix and chill, and that page was at the bottom of the deck again, Somebody new coming in, wanting to manifest the beginning with you, starting small, starting friendly zone, starting honestly, wanting to have a new chapter. All right, starting with the bottom of the deck. You created this mess, so it is on you to fix it. Cut. Self-care is not selfish. We just had that one. We're cutting again. Jealousy is an illness. Get well soon, bitch. Okay, and then one random source. Shit they need to hear. That's the name of the deck. Fluffy alert. Time to move your ass. Ooh, shake it. Wiggle it, guys. All right, that's what we have for you, Virgo. On we go. All right, Wookiee crew. Libra. He is actually here. We are having some work done in the basement so that we can have a upper washer and dryer on the first floor. It's exciting. He say to say Libra as loud as I could, but I think that would break eardrums. Give us an emoji for how you feel today. Tell us why if you want to. Don't if you don't want to. So you have the overall energy of the Empress. Now, the Empress is respected. This is demanding respect. This is also possibly a big change. So this can be somebody new coming in your life, showing your respect. The Empress waits, but it is abundance, clarity, honesty. This can be a breakthrough. This can be somebody trying to clear the air and show you more respect. Trying to clear the air, trying to talk things out. So let's see what we get. Source. Libra is dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Thoughts. Okay. Well, they don't think anything's in the way here. They're ready just to come on in. 
I'm coming in. Breaking down those ice walls if I need to. Feelings. All right. The more for feelings. Feel a little bit vulnerable. They still feel tied here, but they want to show you a sense of stability. This is somebody that wants you to know that you can know what to expect from them. This is somebody that's a hard worker, that moves slow so they're not pushy. They might know that they have to, like they, you know, there's a sense of vulnerability here between strength and the nine of wands. One more for feelings towards you. This is new energy though. I want to hang out. I want to get to know you. I will take things slow. Patience moving slow in a healthy way this person can be at a distance the fool and the eight of wands both can be a distance so they might need to travel to see you let's see what you think how do you see them all right mm. okay you see them as a little bit resting wookie bitch face so possibly a little bit guarded emotionally and they can be afraid of getting hurt but you see them wanting something with longevity. You can meet this person at a party, a gathering through work, amongst friends, family, whatever the case may be, in larger groups. Feelings. Hey. I would like to get to know you. I'm curious if you're going to want to date me. I want to take this somewhere. But they really can be kind of... Hard to understand at times, but this is looking like you're interested to see where this can go. I'd like to get to know you. I want more to know more about you. I am interested. This looks like a new connection. It looks nice. Can be an air sign, but they're not holding back at all. They're, if you if they need to break down your walls, they will. But I feel like they're a little resistant too, and they could be a little bit defensive. Like could have a little bit of a jealousy issue because they're a little bit guarded. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Source. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Three of coins. Feelings, the moon. This person's anxious as hell. Action, they take. All right. They don't want the two of you to be done. They want to try to reconcile. Three of pentacles. Can we try again? They feel, though, mm, they're up in their head thinking you're going to tell them that you're not interested anymore or that you're the type of person that it's all about you. Like you're an attention hoe. Just saying, well, why the fuck do they want to try again? One more for feelings. I'd say this person seeing, no, what the hell? They feel like things have got to change, but they're anxious as hell or they're just done. Why do we have the Ten of Swords then? Why are they trying to... I don't... This, this is... What's the blockage? What's the blockage? They're trying to be optimistic or not optimistic enough. This person you might just have lost interest in. They have no follow through. They could have been flirting with somebody else and still trying to work things out with you. How do you feel towards this person? Feelings. You're releasing it. You're letting it go. You don't want to talk to them. How do you see them? <laughs> Causing shit shows wherever they go. And trying to sidestep the drama like no I didn't do this like they deny playing head games but denying that they're doing it their thoughts they're thinking about somebody else as well that's disrespecting your ass I feel like you have lost interest this person doesn't want things to end but why if they see you as the fucking mega bitch why would they not want this to be done clarify the queen of swords because that's feeling like they're afraid of your ass. They are afraid of fucking commitment. I don't know why in the hell. Mm -mm. Ten of swords reversed. They might be 
I feel like it's more you, but might be trying to rationalize the bad shit that's happened between the two of you, but they're over-dramatizing it like it's this huge deal and trying to be, it's almost like they're getting pity parties from other people because I was committed and I this and that, and they're talking smack. And I feel like you're defending yourself, saying that is not how this shit went down. There's some major quarreling there. Ooh. You don't want them back. I don't think they give a shit either. I just feel like they're trying to get somebody else's attention and doing it in all the wrong ways. And it's like, why in the hell do I care? Odd energy. Weird person. Very, very wishy-washy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Ooh, I dig you. I'd like to know more about you. This person sees you as very sexy, but alluring and kind of quiet, which of course makes you more interesting. This person wants to get comfy close to you, but this can be somebody from the past. One more for action. Okay. Is this somebody from the past reversed? Yes. No, it's not. Now, you could remind them of somebody that they know, but they want to get comfortable. They want to put work into this. They want to show you dedication, devotion. This is somebody that concentrates on one person at a time, but they do feel like you're holding back a little bit. And more for feelings. Yeah, they just, it's almost like they need to feel a little bit more stable between the two of you. I mean, there's a lot of, let's have this connection grow here. Libra! There it is. How do you see this person? All right. You see them restless. <laughs> Interested, but restless. A little bit nervous, but wanting an opportunity with you. How do you feel towards them? Oh, you desire them just a little bit. Well, they're doing the same. And you got the Wheel of Fortune. Yep. If they don't take action, you will. They're a little bit restless. <laughs> But they're kind of him and Han. It's like, I want stability. Are you even interested? I hope you're interested. I really want to... Ah. And it seems like their their action is spending time with you, trying to get on the same page, putting work. That's devotion. You see them as a little apprehensive and a little bit unsure. But coming at you right. Honesty, clarity, balanced, sexually interested. Yes. It's like, me want some of this. Lust versus love but moving forward good luck having met this person this looks nice you like it okay so it could start i'm just going to say this it can start with a one-nighter or that type of thing because they find you extremely alluring but a, a bit aloof aloof like they don't know what you're thinking which makes it more fun taurus virgo capricorn thoughts source all right, three of wands, reverse. This person feels kind of strung along and frustrated. How they feel, I'm sorry, their thoughts are feeling strung along and frustrated. They might just be starting over. Well, that's taking action though. Why are they thinking three of wands? Reverse. Just be a delay. This person's got jealousy issues and yet they're moving on, maybe. Blockage. They possibly put you in a third party situation and had a roaming eye. Shame on them. How do you see them? Waste of fucking time. Disappointed. Denial. And it's all about them. Nine of Cups. It's like, you, you got your wish. You had an opportunity with me, and you fucked it up royally. You're trying to heal. Three of Swords reversed. It's like, uh-uh. I don't care about third-party situations. Not my thing. You wanted your cake and eat it, too. Feelings. Seven of Cups. You're determined. It's like, you you see the reality. You're, there's nothing, nothing up in the air or hanging over your head at all. Nope. You feel hurt. You feel like you cannot trust this person. You're using your intuition, but you are trying to heal. This person dissed you. Now, you could think that this person chose their ex over you, but they're moving on forward away from 
Mm -mm. I feel like you're gonna say, please go away. You left me empty handed, stranded, not knowing what the hell to do, not knowing what the hell was going on, possibly ghosted, and you're just like, I'm trying to work on healing, I'm done. All right, let's call out the majors for you. Okay. Leo, Aries, Taurus, Mega Bitch, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo. Ho, 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 ho. Libra, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Aries, Pisces, Sagittarius. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, but all signs are in here. All right, we're getting out the shit you need to hear. Literally, shit you need to hear. Starting at the bottom of the deck. Forgive, but never forget. Cut. Saying no is a superpower. Ooh, and then a random one, source. Apply motherfucking pressure. Ooh. Somebody needs it. All right. That's what we have for you, Libras. And you got to hear the Wookiee. On we go. Scorpios. Okay, so instead of question of the day, emoji of the day, give us a little icon for how you are feeling today. You guys have optimism. Clarity can be a Leo. Somebody wanting to pursue you. Cut of the deck. There's definitely a feeling of a crush and new energy here going on. Something optimistic, something good. It's like, ooh, I can feel it. Anticipation. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Source, Elemental Quickies. All right, boom. Boom what? Boom, now they're waiting, anticipating. Not wanting to let go. Possibly willing to sacrifice something. Wanting things to go better, but might be moving on. Why the Tower of Ducks? devil i feel like this person's sexually attracted to you and the tower can be one hell of an intense attraction how do you see this person how do you see them wanting to come back around oh, oh but wanting their freedom and cake and eat it too no 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 blockage childish they don't offer much Red flags, had a mistress or a mister, cheating, hiding secrets, lust versus love. How do you feel about this person? I think you're trying to get over them. I think you are just going, no more barriers, no more of this shit. Moving on, getting your clarity, getting over them. I'm over this, I'm moving forward. You can be moving towards Cancer or Leo. But not taking this shit. This is like this person caused the ending and they're toxic. They lusty, lusty. That's somebody you don't want coming in and out of your life? No. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Source. Thoughts. All right. That's passion. Okay, this person doesn't like competition. They don't like head games. They feel there could be competition. And they're interested in you. Okay. I'm interested in dating you, but I do not want any competition. I hold back. If all they do, they hold back. So they might think you're interested in somebody else. What is the blockage? All right. Maybe somebody you work with and you're not going there. I mean, this is somebody that is like not really putting any effort into anything at all. And taking, and, you, know, taking you for granted, you, you just might not even see them. One more. It's not something you see. Oh, yeah, a lot of this whole workplace can't have it. Not interested in dating in the workplace type thing. And they're going, but, 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 but. The, I don't know. This is looking like you're not interested. How do you see them? Wanting your attention. Wanting to be successful. But it seems like you're letting them down hard. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Feeling. No. It's like you feel like they're jealous. And that 
if they want one thing. I don't like it. No, you think this person's, it's like, no, I'm not interested. I feel like you're going to let, let them down, tell them the truth. I'm not interested. This just seems like there's too much possible work tension, and you're going, I can't have it. This would be too much work. We'd have to, you know, I'd have to switch positions, or I'd have to do this and that. You're a jealous freak. You know, you want to come in and have something too quickly, and I just don't feel like you're balanced, and there's something not quite right with this person in your head. I don't want a competition. It's like, you don't even stand a chance. We're not interested. So, no. Seeing clearly the type of person they are, not interested. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I am being optimistic. I am dealing with reality. I am thinking about coming in with a big chip on my shoulder. They feel, think you have a chip on your shoulder, and they're trying to be more chill. Feelings. Oh, they have changed their mind about the connection between the two of you. But they feel like it's a disappointment. That can be because you have the chip on your shoulder. Action they take. They're still going to try. I love you. I want to start again. Blockage. They could be stuck in another connection. One more. Because then what would be the fucking point? This person's unrealistic. They're lying to you. They're not being honest. This person's looking for one thing only. Well, you know, I've been thinking about it. I'm, I'm really thinking about making there be more hope. But first they have to end something else. How do you see them? Manipulator. Not taking any action to give you what you want at all. Not giving you a start. Not giving you any success or security. Feelings. You feel like they're just after one thing. It's like you're kind of immature and childish. And I'm looking for somebody that's responsible. But this is also knowing that, this, that it's not going anywhere. This person's stringing you along. Stringing you along because they already have another person that they're responsible for. No. No. They need to get a divorce or something. This is not somebody that are toying with you. So, yeah, you got to check. Well, I'm trying to be optimistic. No, you have to. It's like, I'm not waiting while you take your sweet ass time. No. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right. This person's not over you. Having a hard time letting go of you feelings they want to come back face the music deal with the emotions between the two of you they're not doing a damn thing though they might just let this go one more for the five they might just let this go they miss you they think about coming back but they're not doing anything nothing blockage commitment will misled you lies bullshit third party potentially Manipulation emotionally and major heartbreak. How do you see them? You're hoping that they get some fucking karma. It's like payback. You're busted. Feelings towards them. I shall not be an option. Fuck you. The communication sucks. They were indecisive, and that's a third party. You're like, I'm healing. I'm not going to be an option. You're a flirt. Fuck you. Ouch. I don't think you've given them any choice. It's like, change the locks on the back door. Single source. Judgment. A new opportunity. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Intentions. Ooh, they want your attention. Libra energy coming at you right, wanting an opportunity with you, wanting wish fulfilled. Bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups. Ha! Ah, I wish you'd give me an opportunity. I really dig you. You're sexy and hot and shit. Nice for singles. The rest of this is kind of ugh. yuck central. All right, changes. 
somebody wanting to make an improvement with you but not following through, so you are doing what's best for you. Seeing clearly. All right, Cancer. Scorpio, I'm sorry, Pisces and Cancer. Pisces. Pisces, Scorpio, Scorpio, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Virgo, Aries, Leo, 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 Libra, Scorpio, Gemini, Payback's a bitch boy, Taurus, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Aquarius, yeah, they know it's hopeless. Hopeless. All right, and we are getting out the shit you need to hear deck. Shit you need to hear, bottom of the deck. The best revenge, the best motherfucking revenge is success. Cut. You are toxic as fuck. That's to that person. And then one random source. All right, what do we have? You have to save your own damn life. Yeah, don't save anybody else. Some people aren't worth the effort to wipe their ass, okay? Happiness can be a Leo coming in. Singles looking gorgeous. That's what we have for you, Scorpios. On we go. Saggies. Okay, so instead of question of the day, emoji of the day. Show us what mood you are in with an emoticon. You guys have the overall energy of the world. Right underneath of that, the fool. This is looking like... Completion, starting over, kind of exciting, but you're kind of holding back a little bit. Now, this can be recovering from a past transgression or having felt left out and just kind of getting your shit together and being ready to move on. Let's see what we get. Also, can be wanting somebody to come back around. Take another go at it. Okay. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Then you have to ask yourself if you're holding back your own blessings. All right, this person's thinking we have justice. Page of Wands. Okay, one more. All right, this person's a little bit guarded. They're not exactly sure how to face you or how to come at you. They do have courage to do so, but they're a little apprehensive. Why so apprehensive? Three of Wands, because they would like to see this go somewhere, but they're kind of holding back. That's waiting a little bit. Why justice for thoughts? Because that can be taking accountability, trying to make things right between the two of you. Hair font, definitely trying to make things right. If there had been something that hadn't gone right between the two of you, they might want to take the repercussions for their actions. Why the Page of Wands for feelings? One more. Curious if the two of you can be happy together again. What's the blockage? Ace of Wands. Delays and needing to drop something that's toxic. Now, I hate to say this, but that's a pretty sexual card there, and the devil can be as well. This person can have toxicities that they need to drop. So it can be over drinking, over anything that's not good for them. But with the Ace of Wands reversed, it's uncertainty if it's actually going to happen. A false start, delays, circumstances aren't right for the timing. Could have stepped out. One more. Four of Wands. Not feeling like the two of you are on the same page. Kind of losing direction. Not, not real focused. Insecurities, not being happy, disappointments, major holding back, your thoughts, lovers, okay. Nine of Wands, I mean this is saying that you could feel a connection with this person, but are they always in and out, being a show off, constantly flirting with other people? Your feelings... All right. I feel like you're getting your getting your confidence back so that you you know you're taking a break from this person. It's like I don't really want to talk to you right now. I'm not ready. I don't 
I don't think you really want to talk to it. I just feel like you're trying to move on, trying to figure out what it is you want, like uh, searching for answers yet. You might have already gotten your answer. This person could have stepped out of the connection. But now they're thinking about trying to make things right between the two of you. They're curious. Can we be happy again? They feel like there's still something to go on here, but they're not doing anything right now. So that seems like the two of you aren't talking, but they are thinking about coming at you with fairness, balance, and apology. Major standstill, though. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Source. The moon. Anxious as hell. The fool. All right. One more for the seven. And five of swords. Okay, this person could be coming in with an apology for treating you like an option. They also could be being determined not to deal with the drama between the two of you and kind of sidestepping it. Side swiping. Was swiping. Less impulsive, trying to kind of just slow it down a little bit. One more for feelings. Ten of Wands. This is somebody that's taking this hard. Not ready for a new beginning. Not ready to do anything. Working. Could be trying not to think. Hangman. Also for feeling. So they feel like they're just in limbo when it comes to you. They feel like this is a lot of work. They would like to start things over with you, but they're not taking any chances right now. Now with the Ten of Wands. Why the moon? Apprehensive as hell. Could be feeling guilty. What's the blockage? Six of swords. Could be just bad timing. Two of cups. Bad timing in this connection. Things not being on the same page. And you could be waiting for a better offer. This is just seeming like this person doesn't see the big picture here. They could be grumbling under their under their breath. This is seeming like everything had been up in the air and things finally crashed down to the ground and they're going, I don't really want, you know, I'm biting my tongue, but they're not doing anything. They're just sitting there. It's not coming back around with a nice apology. They would like to see things get going on the same page. They would like to see things, but this is somebody that doesn't even know where the hell to start. How you see them. Six of coins. Wanting an opportunity. Wanting a second chance. Strength. But they kind of have a lack of confidence here and they need to ball it up. You might start over. You're going to do whatever it takes for yourself. You got the nine and the ace here. That's ten. That is like, I need completion. I feel like you've gotten your closure here when it comes to this person. Releasing them, letting them go, just saying there's too much up and down here, not knowing what the hell to expect from them. When we say blockage, this person can be in and out of your life. I need a change, and then I come back. I need a change, and then I come back. And you're like, how many times do you think you can come in and out? It doesn't work that way. Every time it comes in and out, there's another piece of the heart that just gets chunked away. They would like to try to move steps forward, but they're just kind of sitting there. They're biting their tongue. They know that they've messed up their feelings. Okay, I'm just going to wait. I'm waiting, but they feel like they're wasting their time and that this is they're taking things hard and they would like to start things over, but I don't see them doing a damn thing. Too up in their head, too apprehensive. Yeah. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Two of Swords reversed. Seeing things clearly. Feelings. Three of Cups. That can be reconciliation or out celebrating. Two of Wands. Why the Two of Wands for actions? Eight of Wands. Well, that would be somebody that is deciding that it is a good idea to come in and talk to you. What is the blockage? Like the blockages have been taken away. The blockage can be this person doesn't feel like they're good enough, like they're inept. Like you were leading them on. 
the pride's been knocked down. And the Queen of Coins reversed. They feel like they didn't meet your expectations. They feel like that you wanted something for nothing and they're hoping for a change or you were hoping for a change. Tower, not done. This is just the feeling of I'm trying to dodge this bullet. I don't want this to be done. They don't want to see an ending. One more for thoughts. Eight of Cup. Okay, I'd like to return... Can you see things differently? I think you have put too much thought in this and you're seeing it the wrong way. I think you've misjudged me. How you see them. It's kind of like a maybe. You're evaluating the situations. You're very defensive. You're taking the upper ground. You could be a little bit on the paranoid side. Not dropping your standards. You do feel for this person, but you're just not sure. You have the high process. You would like to take action towards this person. You would like to have the long term here, but there's a lot of water under the bridge. It's just like this: you and this person were burning the candle at both ends, and now they want to come in and talk about everything that's happened. They feel like you've judged them incorrectly, and you're, I mean, you're really assessing this. What do I do about this connection? Still feeling like you're using your intuition and not talking with this person where they want to talk and think that you've overjudged them or judged them incorrectly or made a bad choice about them. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, this person is thinking about confessing. You have the Knight of Swords. This person's blowing a lot of steam off, though. Blowing a lot of steam off, and they're just kind of staying to themselves, trying to figure out what the hell they want. Ace of Swords. That would be making a breakthrough, trying to break the uh, ice off your heart. Thinking about confessing emotions. I've been lying to myself long enough. I need to decide what to do. Blockage. This person is not over you. They're having a hard time, but they could have been playing footsie with somebody from their past. Just saying. Ten of coins reversed. Page of coins. There couldn't be kids involved here, but this is somebody that's not mature, not lay laying enough groundwork, not showing you enough stability. And then the six of cups, possibly not over somebody from their past. Then you got the queen, the mega bitch. They come to false assumptions. They have, they're edgy and shitty. How do you see them? Come here. High Priestess, the star. I think you're trying to heal. And you see them wanting an opportunity, but you also see that you can't trust this person. The, the High Priestess is you using your intuition, but still taking a, a you know, a back, back... A bleacher approach. It's like I'm just kind of watching from afar, seeing what's going on, keeping myself very blocked and trying to decide, is this person keeping secrets? I'm trying to heal your feelings. I'm not over this, but I'm really working on it. I do feel like they're taking their sweet ass time, coming back around, wanting to talk things out, wanting to be reliable again. But this just seems like somebody that's stuck on something from the past. And it can be just the arguments and crap that, th that the two of you have had. They could have been seriously, totally busted, swinging around with their do I diddy. But this is somebody that there's a lot of lost faith. It's like, I don't know what to do about you anymore. You see them having hope, but still holding back and keeping secrets. This is kind of like limbo. They want to come back and try to make things right. They want to come in with clarity and honesty, tell it like it is. But right now they're blowing hot air. This is somebody that's got a chip on their shoulder. And when they come at you, they seem kind of like an asshole. I mean, I'm not holding back. I've got, a, yeah, they make quick decisions, not holding back where they should be holding back on their mouth a little bit. Get a little snippy with their mouth. And that can be part of their issue. Singles. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, intentions. Ooh, let's hang out. Let's Netflix and chill. I'm hot for you. I have a lot to offer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This person's looking for a lover. Now they're emotionally mature. I would say similar age. 
Sagittarius energy. This is somebody that wants to see where things can go, but they like want to see how the two of you click and the balance between the two of you. So that looks like new dating that can go somewhere for singles, especially with the overall energy of the world. But the world is kind of like that. It's time to make up your mind. If you're not looking back, don't look back. I think a lot of you are having a hard time not looking back, especially with that Five of Pentacles reverse showing up initially. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Heavy Taurus, Libra, Leo, Gemini, Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Leo. Pisces, Aries, Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces, Aquarius, Cancer, Scorpio, all signs are in there. The world should be a sense of completion. Feeling complete and ready for something new. Bottom of the deck, magician. Manifest your beginnings. Manifest new beginnings. If you have a trust issue with somebody from the past, could be time just to stop it. All right. So we're getting out the shit you need to hear. Starting with the bottom of the deck, you deserve better and you're going to have. All right. Random. Face the problem and watch that shit disappear and then a cut. Fuck being quiet. Tell that bitch a piece of your mind. Okay, you need to tell somebody what you think. And I do feel like there is a confession that wants to come out there. All right, my Saggies, that's what we have for you. On we go. My Capulets. So instead of question of the day, emoji of the day. So show us your Mood for the day with a little emoticon. All right. So you guys have the overall energy of the Hierophant. Can be a Taurus. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This can be checking out a new option. Very curious. Very playful energy. Seeing if somebody's fair and balanced. Wanting to learn about somebody. It also can be trying to be a good... Hmm, good influence on children while you're, you know, dating. I mean, that can be a very difficult thing, but this is honesty, clarity, having faith. So let's see what we got. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Source, their thoughts. Very serious. One more. Very serious. All right, this person is thinking about communication between the two of you. They want to know where things are going. They feel like they're being honest and, you know, putting their work into this. That this could go somewhere. Oh, yeah. This person's got serious intentions, but they might be thinking that you're a little bit on the stern side about how things are going. But there's a question about where things are going. What is a blockage? Who's putting the work into it? Has there been a delay? Like it went so far and then it kind of got stuck. This person's not feeling like the two of you are done. They want more work put into it. Wanting a serious talk. Wanting to communicate based on honesty. They also might feel like things are so uptight and wanting things to, you know, it's like, let's get out and let's do something. How do you see this person? Right. I'm trying to manifest more love, trying to manifest it, trying to communicate with you, wanting things to go well. Okay, your feelings. Trying to have balance, trying to heal a situation, trying to have... That's a lot more love and affection. This just seems like things kind of got stale, kind of got boring. I hate to say it that way, but the seven coins reverse. It's like, I don't want to give up too soon, but I'm, you know, it's just feeling like things are just forced, like everything's routine. 
disappointed right now, but still want things to move forward. We really need to talk about this. We really need a date night. You know, just there needs to be more time together. Seems like this person's a little bit more serious. They could be like, I'm working so hard and too much work. Too much work, not enough play. Seems like there needs to be more time together. This person knows there needs to be a change for things to work out, but this is honest efforts. It looks nice. I like it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The love of us. Page of Pentacles reversed. Emperor. One of the lovers for thoughts. All right. With the Page of Pentacles reversed for feelings. This person feels like they did not live up to your expectations, really let you down. They feel like you're not interested in them anymore. Emperor for action. They want to stabilize the connection. They want, there again, I want more love. The communication, they feel like they've been holding back and they're anxious as hell about it. What's the blockage? Where is this going? Are you stringing me along? I'm frustrated. Feeling like there's a delayed opportunity here. Could be a completely missed opportunity. And not feeling like things are even. Again, they feel like you're treating them like a kid. They feel like you're just not interested. How do you see them? All right. Okay, you feel like they're acting kind of childish. You feel like they're up and down and they make bad choices. They could have treated you like an option at one point in time where they were flirting with somebody else and you're apprehensive as far as they're concerned. It's like you see them changing their mind and wanting to put more work into it and ready to start a new connection, but it's like really, you feel like they've been screwing around. And more for how you see them. Yeah, kind of a, you know, kind of coming in with a small apology, but not really offering much. Your feelings. Right. You just don't feel like this is any good for you anymore. You just don't feel like you can trust them and you don't really want to talk. It's like, I'm really done. I, I, I walked away. You feel like this person made a bad choice. They could have. They could have stepped out of the connection. It seems like you're just calling it done, trying to move on. It's like you can watch me all you want. Your apology doesn't mean nothing. I know you're not over me, but I'm not over you either, but I don't feel like this is a healthy connection. I feel like you keep secrets. So they're acting immature, and you feel like they're, they're possibly the one stringing you along, breadcrumbing you, and you're looking for a better opportunity. They feel like they haven't lived up to your expectations and you're not interested anymore, but they still want to anchor this and do the right thing. I don't think you quite frankly care. And they could be all up in their head and anxious that you might find out about somebody else that they've been flirting with. Not so good. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. The world. Okay. One more. Ooh. All right, this person's ready for a new beginning. Yep, new beginning. They've had an ending. They've had their closure. They're ready for some attention. They want to be acknowledged by you. This is somebody that accepts you just as you are. They're open for communication. They have stability on their mind. You could meet this person at a party gathering or out, like if you travel somewhere, because this can be a distance. How do you see them? You're optimistic. Daydreaming about them. A little bit guarded. We're seeing them a little bit guarded, but still taking a chance. All right. How do you feel? I feel like it's it's like a sudden change that could work out. That's nice. Yeah, they make you feel good about yourself. You're enjoying the attention. 
this is something that could grow. This looks nice, but the, it does look like they've had an ending. But this is somebody that sees value in you. And you're like, oh, yes, I'm daydreaming about you, too. You see them as very hopeful. Hopeful, a little bit apprehensive or paranoid. They might be just like, are you going to pay attention to me or not? But this is, you're going, this is a big change. And, wow, coming in quickly. One more for their feelings. Yeah, they want to ask you out and see where things can go. This looks nice. It's a change, change, change. Big change, new direction, new beginning. Like it. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay. I know my value. I'm trying to hold on for dear life. This person is almost refusing to make it. It's like they're kind of greedy about what direction they want to go. Holding back. Feelings. Jealousy. Provoked. Competitive. Action they take. Well, that can be putting more work into things. But kind of feeling like it's, yeah. I will put more work into it. I know I have to take accountability for my actions. They know they have to take accountability. What is the blockage? They don't want to let go. All right, stubbornness. Are there two here? No. Okay. This is somebody that needs to give you a sense of security. This is somebody that needs to stop acting out and being a flirt or always having to have their way. Somebody that can be extremely stubborn, can be very materialistic. Very materialistic. One more. <clears throat> and this can be somebody that's a kind of a show off. Sometimes they're immature. They lead you to think one thing and then they go a different direction. Now they want to stick up for this. Not changing their mind. They've definitely become very determined. They think everything had been up in the air. And they're like, everything was out of reach. Now it's within reach. I want this connection. I will do what I have to. How do you see them? Showing you a hell of a lot more respect. Coming in with clarity and honesty. Wanting a breakthrough. Trying to clear the air. Your feelings. Boom. Didn't see it coming. That's a reconciliation. Trying to heal. But you're going to make them wait and work for it. It's like hesitation to start over. So you, you're like, this has got to heal a lot more first because this is some dominant energy here that this person has been portraying towards you. And you're sitting there passively. Okay, so they treat you kind of like very on the feminine side, even if you're a man. Someone that's like, you need to be taken care of. You need to, you know, be loved. You need somebody that's kind to you. You need to be nurtured. I mean, so they're really th thinking the correct way, but they could be a little bit bossy. And this is somebody that holds on to things kind of tight. And they feel like it's like, okay, we got to choose what path we're going on. I'm determined that it's going to be this way. Willing to put the hard work into it, knowing that they have to come at you right, taking accountability, not wanting to be separated. All right, single source. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, intention. New dating. I'd like to spend some time with you. Possibilities are endless. Let's travel. Let's have fun. Oh, let's definitely have fun. I'm getting the courage up. I'm really digging you. Ooh. Looks nice for singles. Can be a Leo, Aries. Heavy Leo. This person feels, I mean, that's lust. This is not love. This is a new beginning that could be fun and frolic and let's, you know, day trips and do something fun, something impulsive. Let's travel. Let's have a good time. I'm putting the moves on you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy fire too. But coming at you and seeing you as something worthwhile, seeing the value in you, that looks nice. We like that. The rest of this is kind of up and down. You got a little bit of a control freak in there. Sagittarius. Cancer. Gemini. Aries. Pisces. Capricorn. 
Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Taurus again up there. Scorpio, Leo, Aries. Libra, Taurus. Scorpio, Libra. Aquarius. All signs are in here. Okay, so we're getting out the shit you need to hear deck. We are starting with the bottom of the deck. They don't have to like you, but demand respect. See, that is that emperor. That is that empress demanding respect. And a cut of the deck. Damn. Stop talking about it and be about it. Yeah, put your money where the, you know, show me the effort. And then one random. You have issues. Solve them, bitches. <laughs> Definitely feeling like there needs to be more fun. Needs to be more fun. Very serious. Serious energy, Cappies. All right, that's what we have for you on We Go. Aquarius. Okay, instead of question of the day, emoticon again for fun, show us with a smiley face or a frowny face or a zzz, tired face. How are you feeling today? All right, you guys have the lovers. This can be... A choice that needs to be made and having a hard time. What do I do? This can be about communication issues between somebody that you care about and it's kind of weighing heavily on you. But the six of wands here, still wanting to be able to push forward and be successful. Wanting a victory. Wanting to be acknowledged. Let's see what we get. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a fire sign. Oh, you got the king of wands for thoughts. King of Wands, ooh, King of Pentacles. Two of Wands, mmm. This one wanted to come out with it, we're taking it. All right, the, one more for the King of Wands for thoughts. This person wants to chase your ass. Oof, look at that. I want to meet your expectations. I know you have high standards, but I want an opportunity with you. I think you are the bomb diggity. I am definitely get, trying to get what I want with you. I am fun. I'm outgoing. I would love to show you respect. This is a connection they want to see grow. Two of Wands. They, they're optimistic. They want to explore this connection and see if it can be love. Is this love that I'm feeling? How do you see them? Okay. Strength. Getting a lot of courage. And six of coins. Trying to show you balance. How you feel. There's that six of wands. Paying a lot of attention to you. You feel like this is something that could go somewhere. Two of cups. You're interested. And you got the page of cups right underneath of that. Curious on where it can go. Happiness, contentment, which is fulfilled. This looks like a brand new connection. They're bringing it up. They're chasing you. They're interested in seeing this go somewhere. This is somebody that wants emotions that grow. This is somebody that sees you as extremely good looking or handsome. Choosing you. New lover. Gemini. Libra Aquarius. Two of coins. One more. Two of coins. Can get pentacles. All right, going back and forth. This might be somebody that knows that they need to make more time. Feelings. Knight of Swords. Seven of Coin. Okay. Is there two here? Reverse, yes. No. Okay. <clears throat> this person's feeling... This person's feeling. They want to come in. They want to talk. This is somebody that it's like they gotta. They, it's like they gotta blow some steam. They want to come in and express themselves. They want to chase you down. This is somebody that still feels a lot of passion towards you. I will make time for this. This is something I feel like it pays off. So chasing you down, interested in you sexually. I shall pursue you with pride. Could happen quickly. How do you see them? Okay, looks like you're just ready for a new beginning. So it also can be that this person's just ready for a new beginning. They're wondering about their 
I st it's almost like you're wondering if they're single. The Nine of Coins can be somebody that's extremely independent. Feelings towards them. Ace of Coins and the Nine of Cups. All right. Sense of starting out, a sense of contentment, which is granted. Oof. Contentment, happiness, enjoying this person's company, security, starting out. They're coming at you straight and narrow. This just feels like they are just becoming ready, according to how you see them. Just becoming ready, and that would be single. One more for the Nine of Coins. Very independent, able to take care of themselves. The star. Okay, and optimistic. Having a lot of hope, having a lot of faith. This is beautiful energy. Faith, faith, faith. Connection. New lover. Well then, guys. Mm-mm-mm. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Justice, Page of Wands, one more, Page of Swords, okay, this person's watching, they're thinking about approaching you, they want an opportunity, this is somebody that wants to, they're thinking about approaching you, coming at you, honestly, they might think that you have more than one Option, they're curious, but they're a little bit apprehensive. We have the Page of Swords. This is somebody that really would like to see this go somewhere. They want to continue to be able to see you, but they are feeling... Now, there can be an age difference here where they feel like they need to... A uh, little defensive, a little jelly jelly. Hey, still a common end. This person feels like there's nothing in the way at all. They want to put work into this, but there could be an age difference, and they're out to kind of prove that just because they're younger doesn't mean it means anything. How do you see them? Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Slow your roll a little bit. You are interested to see where this can go. You have the Hermit. Can be a Virgo. For your feelings. You could be a little shy. This is somebody that's really putting up a big stink that doesn't need to. It's like you're feeling like they're competitive but very, very motivated and not dropping their standards, not changing their mind. They really want to have this connection. <laughs> they're willing to fight for it too. So, But in a good way. It's like I'm going to prove my point. This is a little bit more drama than need be, but I feel like they're trying to prove that they're good enough. They're trying to meet your standards. They're trying to be, show you that they're worth the effort. This looks nice. Still looks nice. A lot of fresh energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. King of Swords. Very serious. Resting bitch face. The world, oh, I'm not over you. I don't feel like this is done. I'm edgy. Wanting communication. Well, they're going to try to. This is somebody that's trying to control the situation. They want good results. And they're tired of waiting. It's like willing to sacrifice, but not really needing to with the magician here. They're trying to manifest you back. Action. Three of Cups. Going to try to make this happen. And then you got this person might be willing to do anything it takes because death is a transformation, it's a change. This person's not over you. What is the blockage? Moon. Moon reverse. Secrets having come out. Everything's out on the table, but still kind of foggy on what the hell to do about it. Something that was disappointing. To have wands, dropping the ball, not having your back when they should have. And three of coins reversed. That's somebody that's almost like they, they do things by themselves. They got an ego trip where it's like, I can do this by myself. Sometimes you need to listen to other people. Like they're not listening. One more for the moon. Four of swords. Restless, restless, restless. This person wants to get this off their chest. How do you see them? 
four of coins. Trying to hold on really tight. Three of swords. Really hurt. Or acting hurt. Page of pentacles. Okay. That can be this person's finally going to learn a lesson, but it's really small. I feel like they're holding on a little bit too tight. Your feelings. Queen of Swords. Ooh, you're right there with them. Yes, we need to communicate. Seven of Cups. Everything's all up in the air right now. Not sure this is attainable. You want things to go better. Ace of Swords. That's a breakthrough. That's a big freaking change. There can be the feeling of this person coming in and that you would be happy to hear from them. That would be good news. But this person is hurt. You see them as hurt. You see them as possibly betraying you and holding back and not showing enough love. Could have been a third party. It doesn't really look like it, but it could have been with the moon and the three of swords. But you feel like they're kind of greedy with their emotions. It's like, stop acting like just work, 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 work. You, you're being serious too. It's like, I've really... I think about this often. I feel like things could change. I would like to see them change. This is change. Ma major change. So they're manifesting you back. They're sick of waiting. They're, I don't feel like this is a third party, but this is somebody that could drop the ball, not put enough work into it, take things. They need to stop being burying their head in the sand. You know, let go of the guilt, let go of the drama. It's like they take things way too seriously. Hey, if you want your person back. Six of swords, five of cups. Can we put the burdens beyond us or am I just going to keep going? Are you rejecting me because I miss you? I have regrets about the action I've taken. Okay. This is somebody that wants to do the right thing, but they feel like you're done with them. They still want to chase you, but it seems like they're lying about something, and it can be somebody else involved here. So, kind of iffy. And they could have already been in another connection. There can be the need to um, get a divorce. But this is somebody that's like, things have to go smoother, possibly willing to make choices to leave somebody else because they still have feelings for you. But there, there's this feeling of marriage here and then needing to make a choice. All right. Got a lot of fresh energy, though, guys. Nice. All right. So we have Heavy Gemini, Libra Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Pisces, I know the moon was in there somewhere, that was Leo, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Virgo, Aries, Libra, Decisions, decisions. Seems like you have options, options. All right, we are getting out. Shit, you need to hear. So first we are starting at the bottom of the deck. Get laser focused. Then we're taking a cut. If you're tired of being stepped on, then get off the damn floor. Oof. And then a random. Oh, so you're triggered. Definitely, somebody's triggered, but still wanting to put work into things. All right, Aquarius, that's all we have for you. Why don't we go Pisces? Okay, instead of question of the day, emoticon, emoji. Put up an emoji, tell us how you feel today for fun. Explain why if you want to. Justice for your overall energy can be a Libra coming your direction. Seems like this is somebody that you could be having gone back and forth with. Can be somebody that you're weighing the pros and cons. Can be somebody that you feel like has taken you for granted and needs to come at you right. Can be taking accountability for their actions. But this is you having justice or a.k.a. karma. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Source, Elemental Quickies, Aries, Leo, Sag. 
All right, death, transformation, a change on their mind. Okay, two came out for feelings and action. All right. This person wants you to see things more clearly. Between the two of them, they don't feel like you're seeing them as an option at all. They feel like they've been responsible and that you're just kind of not even looking at them. This is somebody that wants to do the right thing. They want an opportunity. They see you as fair and balanced, but they still have faith in the connection. They still have faith in you. Why death? The gods. All right. This is somebody that's talking you. They don't feel like things are done. They know like they, they, they seem to think that you are starting over. What's the blockage? Blockage. Three came out. Okay. All right. Lies, bullshit, or delays, embellishing the truth, not completely being honest, and then you have the hermit. So when we reverse these, this is somebody that wasn't completely honest with you or wanted their freedom, leaving you feeling lonely. Embellishing the truth or omitting parts of the story, and then it's like you're just blocking this. It's like not happening, not now, not ever. Don't trust you. Hesitation, pushing them away. Shitty attitude. How do you see them? Right. You're sick of it. You're, you're tired of the drama. You're tired of this person holding back when it comes to your happiness. It's not enough love. Feelings. You see any love up there? Nope. You're confused. You feel like this shit's all up in the air. But you feel the need to kind of clear things up. One more for your feelings. No, nope, you're holding back. You're just like, I, I can't have this anymore. I'm going to have to let you slip through my fingers. And I'm keeping to myself. I know my value. I'm moving on. This is too confusing. I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. But they still feel like there's still a chance here and you're going, no, there's really not a chance here anymore. You know your value. This is, you know, this feeling like this person's stingy, holding back, emotionally stingy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Boom. Boom, taka laka laka, boom, taka laka laka. Hang man. One more. Okay. Why the tower for thoughts? I miss you. I miss you. I want you back. I know we're supposed to be done, but I'll change. Now what? What do I do? Anticipation of stagnancy. They don't see anything changing. They don't feel like there's anything changing. But they're looking forward to the future. This is somebody that's like kind of okay where things were where they had been. But their action is, I'm going to be more dedicated and devoted. I don't feel like it's true. And more for action. They're afraid to put work into this. This is a candy ass. What's the blockage? They're a manipulator and they want their fucking freedom. This is somebody that's not ready for anything serious. They're reckless. Reckless. Trickery, illusions, misleading, deception. They're selfish. No thank you. One more for blockage. Manipulator. You have like the master manipulator here. They still need to take accountability for their actions, but they're not. This is somebody that's afraid of putting work into shit. What the hell is that? How do you see them? How do you see them? You see them wanting to talk. You see them trying to push. They still want an opportunity. You see them trying, trying, trying to square up with you and show you that things can be more balanced. One more. But you might... Mm, is this another person reversed? Yes. Yes. 
And it also has you extremely disappointed going, you did not live up to my expectations. You were giving to somebody else. I'm not, I'm not digging this shit. You want to talk? We can talk. But are you bringing your girlfriend or boyfriend with you? How do you feel? Feelings? Please go away. Me and Ben and Jerry are having a good time by ourselves. And we have more positive thoughts about the future. I'm moving on. Slowly. Getting my balance. I trust myself. I do not trust you. This is like I, I'm taking things. I need somebody that's more methodical. I need to know what the hell to expect from somebody. And this just feels like you're taking a time out. They're restless because of this. But you're saying no. You don't meet thy expectations. You're trying to find happiness elsewhere. You're doing whatever you want. You feel like they're selfish. This is, you know, if you're looking at this person, no, no. This is a now what? I'm looking forward, not backwards. I feel like you have judged this person, judged them correctly. But this is up and down energy, and this is a major manipulator. And they're good at it, so be careful. Like, avoid them like the plague so that you don't get mushy and change your mind. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The lovers for thoughts. All right. This person has a jealousy issue. They, it's almost like they like to have their ego stroked. They need to make a choice. They're thinking that you could be a lover, but they might have more than one. One more. Yeah, they're not completely being honest with you. They're keeping things secret. They're anxious about you possibly finding out about somebody else, but at the same time, they, act, they feel jealous and provoked. They're just after a piece of ass. What the fuck? Blockage. They're not looking for anything long term. There's no compatibility here. This person's lying about their freedom anyway. Codependent on somebody else. It's a couch surfer. How you see them. Slow as hell. And in and out. Somebody that does not know what they want. They're bossy, demanding. They don't, they, they like, no confidence here. Major control freak. They're weak, indecisive, and they walk off from the person they're supposed to be with. So irresponsible and full of shit. Well, that's summing it up. All right. Feelings. No. You feel like, you you know, this person can pout all you want, but you're not going to be part of a third party. You could have heard through friends, okay, learning about the situation. No. No, 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 no. Telling the devil that they can take their other option and stuff it right up their do why did he? Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Emotionally feeling rejected or walking away. They feel like the two of you should be together or want a reason to get back together. But they, 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 they're sensing that you're not interested. It's like... You're bored with this. But they still have feelings. This is somebody that wants you to change your mind. But the Four of Cups, it's like they're not seeing the whole picture. They're in this pity party because of how they feel, but they're not seeing your side. What's the blockage? Candy ass. This is somebody that's reckless. They go two different directions. That, that puts them split in half. Do I go this direction or that? This person or that person? Off course, going nowhere fast. Dropping it, just tossing in the red, you know, tossing in the white flag, and it's hopeless. Lack of faith, broken promises. How do you see them? Yeah, you don't want to hear it. It's like, have your pity party. You've got regrets. You need to move on. You need to change. Yeah, you got the Eight of Swords. You're having a hell of a time with this. It's like this person's going to almost do this mutual blame game here. And you're seeing this. It's like, I don't see this as the truth here. You feel trapped by this person. Emotionally. But you're giving them the nanny nanny boo boo. It's like, I'm walking away. I can't do this anymore. Having a hard time. But you're showing yourself more compassion and love. And you're starting over. Singles. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Intention. Ooh, Netflix and Chill. 
Somebody wanting to acknowledge you, pay attention to you, and take things slow and learn about you. Singles look beautiful. The rest of this shit? <laughs> this can be somebody that you meet at a party or a gathering. This looks really nice. Somebody balanced, looking to see if you fit with them. Do we click? Give me an opportunity. Coming at you right. Honesty, clarity. I want to be acknowledged. I want your attention. I'm in it to win it. That looks nice. All right. Let's call out the majors for you guys. Okay. Sagittarius. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Aquarius. Cancer. Capricorn. Aries. Pisces, Cancer. Gemini. Libra. La 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 Libra. Pisces. Scorpio. Leo. Virgo. Oh, oh, oh. Taurus. Aries. Scorpio again. All right. So we are getting out the shit you need to hear deck. You have fluffy alert. Time to move your ass. Random cut. You deserve better and you are going to have better. Okay, one more random source. My cupcakes. Remember who the fuck you are. Yeah, don't let anybody step on you. Nobody steps on your Superman cape. Doing the right thing for you. So base it on honesty and clarity. All right, my cupcakes, that's what we have for you today. Look at that, it's bottom of the deck. I am sharpening my knives and I'm ready for battle. I will cut you out of my life if I feel the need to do so and you no longer serve me. You will be history. Yeah. See the blood? Drip. 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 Are you dealing with a drip? All right, cupcakes, that's what we have for you. Thanks for watching. Many blessings. We'll see you next time.